How often each day, if you were to verbalize your inner reality at that moment, would you have to say, I don't want to be where I am? What does it feel like when you don't want to be where you are? The traffic jam, your place of work, the airport lounge, the people you're with. It is true, of course, that some places are good places to walk out of, and sometimes that may well be the most appropriate thing for you to do. In many cases, however, walking out is not an option. In all those cases, the I don't want to be here is not only useless, not only useless, but also dysfunctional. It makes you and others unhappy. It has been said, wherever you go, there you are. In other words, you are here. Always. Is it so hard to accept that? Well, let's just look at an example. You know, I was in traffic before. I was on my way to an appointment. I was supposed to be there at 1.15. It's 10 minutes away, normally. But there was traffic. There was construction. I didn't know about the construction. So I'm sitting there in traffic and I'm getting irritated because I'm going to be late. I did not, you know, I did not do any of what I just read or talked about. Uh, you know, I sat there mad because traffic wasn't moving. There was nothing I could do about it. I'm sitting there thinking about how I should have went a different way. I should have taken the highway rather than taken the, the side road. So I'm sitting there thinking about the different route I could have taken that would have avoided the traffic. Useless. I'm thinking about how I just want the traffic to start moving again so I can be on my way. I'm wondering what the hell is going on? Why are these people driving so slow? The bottom line is, is I'm thinking about all these things that want me out of where I am. The only thing these, any of these thoughts had to do with was not wanting to accept where I was at that moment. And kind of trying to rationalize in my head what could have been done. You know, as if there's nothing I can do about the situation I'm in. That I'm stuck in traffic, that I'm not moving, or I'm moving really slow. But yet, the, the automatic response with my mind and my thoughts is to come up with ways that I may not have been stuck in traffic or reasons why I don't want to be stuck in traffic. It's almost as if my mind is trying to play a trick on me and saying, look, think about these things, think about it this way, because what you think about, that's, that's what's like real. You know? So it's like my mind is playing tricks on me, and you know, it's like, because I don't want to be in that situation, I'm thinking about all the reasons why I don't want to be in that situation, all the reasons, you know, all the ways I, I could have avoided being in that situation, uh, in an attempt to get out of that situation. Even though it's impossible to get out of the situation, because that's the situation I'm in. I'm stuck there. There's nothing I can do. Can't go backwards, can't go forwards, can't turn off the road. Nothing. I'm stuck there. So, so what purpose do any of those thoughts have except to make me more irritated and want to, you know, make me upset? It makes me, it, may, it would make me mad. And it made me mad. What if, what if I got stuck in traffic and said to myself, okay, I'm stuck in traffic. There's nothing I can do. I accept that I am stuck in traffic. I look around, I observe what's around me, I accept what's right in front of me, what's real, you know, because to me what's real is, is like what's in front of my eyes. Right now, I'm looking at the camera, you know, that's real. If thoughts come into my head about what I'm going to say next, or what I have to do later, the fact that I have to go to class later, you know, if my mind starts wandering and random thoughts start coming in, it's like those, those random thoughts aren't real, just like the thoughts of what I could have done aren't real. I mean, like, sure, they're real in the sense that they're thoughts and I'm having them, but what's more real? Those thoughts or the camera in front of me? Or in the case of being stuck in traffic, what's more real? All those thoughts that I was having or 
the fact that I'm sitting in a car, I'm in traffic, there's cars in front of me, there's cars behind me, there's stores to the left and the right, you know, the sun is shining, the clouds are out, it's a beautiful day, you know, all these things that I can see with my eye, that I perceive, aren't those things more real than the thoughts in my head? Because when I'm trapped in those thoughts as to what could have been done or, or why I don't want to be late or any of those things that I mentioned before, I'm not looking at what's right in front of me. I'm not perceiving where I am in that moment. So, I mean, it always comes down to being more present and, and living in the now, uh, especially when, when I read stuff by this guy. But that's the way I see things too. Sometimes it's tough to see, see what reality is. And of course, it's all this stuff, you know, what's real, what's not real, what's real to me or what's more real to me. You know, that's, that's for me. And yeah, I'm sharing that with everybody, but, but I'm not saying that, that that's for you or that you should see things that way. I'm just saying that this is how I'm looking at things right now. Because who knows? Later on today or tomorrow, I may look at things differently.